measures will it uh, take? What uh, future risk um, ideas will it uh, evolve if we imply ergonomics in our daily lives as professionals, uh, as in a working place? So ergon from ergonomics means work and nomos means law. So it's law of a workplace. How uh, to go about in a workplace and what are your duties in a workplace? What are your duties in it um, as a person? And what are uh, the obligations that your organization uh, should be facilitating you towards? Okay. So, so the laws to be observed at work, these are ergonomics. So, from the Department of Community Medicine, my name is Dr. Marcella Kashif, and we're going to talk about defining ergonomics, explaining what is the basic aspect of ergonomics, why are we talking about it? What is the role of ergonomics in a workplace and why should we talk about workplace ergonomics? Then when it's workplace ergonomics, because there are different types of ergonomics, but generally um, environmental ergonomics keep you bad cut. So we're gonna talk about, these are the objectives that the JSMU guidelines have given us. There are many other things regarding ergonomics, but we're going to stick to the objectives since we have to give the exams according to that. So ergonomics, as the name itself says, ergon and nomics, law in a workplace, how the workplace should be. So it's literally the study or measurement of work. In addition to work as labor for monetary gain, work also includes sports leisure activities, domestic work, education and training, health and social services. By this whole point, it means that when you employ someone, you just don't employ that person on some monetary gain or some professional work. You also employ that person's personal life, that person's whole aura of a lifestyle. So you need to know about that person in general so that you can employ that person according to the uh, job that is best for that person. Now, ergonomics is a means of improving working conditions and reducing illness at work. So what do, you, uh, uh, what do we talk about is that uh, we talk about uh, reducing aspects of going into stress or stressful lifestyle or stressful uh, aspect because we all know that once we're in professional uh, fields, uh, once we are doing as professionals, professionals, what we do is half of our life is in the workplace and half of is in the personal life. So what happens in the workplace is going to the personal life and whatever is happening in the personal life is going to affect the uh, workplace. So all in all, we have to decrease all those things and make it more easier to balance both the lives. Ergonomics attempts to fit the job to the man rather than the man fitting to the job. So you employ an employee according to his or her uh, accreditations and according to his or her capabilities. That's why job description was being made. You describe the work that person will be doing on the workplace. Ergonomics is concerned with the design of systems in which people carry out work. It optimizes efficiency, health, safety, comfort of the people through better design of products and workplace. If your employer is happy, that person will be loyal, that person will have more input towards the organization, towards the cause and aims of the organization. So it will be a win-win situation on and on. It's a long-term thing. What is ergonomics? So ergonomics is higher productivity and a better place to work. Any questions that you guys have in mind, just jot it down during the whole lecture. And then we'll talk about it. We'll have some time uh, at the end of the lecture. And then we'll talk about it. So it's higher productivity and a better place to work. That's the main uh, aspect. What is ergonomics? Like after the definition, what we actually do. So it's a win-win situation again. So the science that says both the lives and the money. 
human engineering where the goal is to optimize worker well-being and productivity all the same is that you take care of the organization take care of you and in return you give more to the organization productivity increases a way of thinking about and planning work so that it suits the capabilities and needs of the so what is ergonomics it is a solution finding method for questions like these how can you know what dimensions we apply to card now this is an example not just ergonomics is everywhere wherever there's a workplace so th these are just different examples in your daily life so how can human body dimensions be applied to car seat design what is the proper height of cushion covers how can traffic lights be programmed for optimal urban traffic flow throughout the day how can stereo receiver displays and controls be coded to effectively define their respective functions how can the material and design of swim suits for competition be improved for minimum water resistance how should computer software and screens work and look best of its human cognitive capabilities now all these things if not thought about would have been a disaster and would have been difficult for a layman or for a person who's not concerned with that specifically to actually use it in all these things would have been extinct but because people thought about the whole thing about user friendly ideas about making things easy and fit for the person that the consumer or the customer or the employee that they are giving to it made a long term and now these things are uh, the essence of our daily life we cannot work out a uh, work without these things so do you get an aspect a, a big aspect of why we are talking about ergonomics and why do we want them to be there theek yeah. hai so so what let's let's talk about the ergonomics and the discipline so ergonomics is a multidisciplinary science of course uh it's a 360 degree turn it's it's about a lifestyle so it involves every aspect of your every discipline every profession that you might be concerned or related with or get in in relation with and uh, ergonomics is also an interdisciplinary so it's a multidisciplinary science interdisciplinary science means that it is also concerned with uh, something that is personal to you something that you have with yourself inside your body inside your mental status inside your physical status everything is concerned with ergonomics so present trend of occupational disease and complaints they showed the factors which percentage of diseases and complaints were related with and the topmost 52.9% was related with ergonomics the others were chemicals noise biological other causes so why do you think that happened because um now we have more sedentary lifestyle we have fewer distinct work types less muscle usage more static than dynamic work we've made life easy yes but we've made life lazy in the same sense so now a lot of diseases and complaints um have come because we are now not working because the human body is built to work and sit uh, not sit all day long or not to have leisure all day it is built to have a robust daily lifestyle that's why ergonomics comes into play so ergonomics if we see the relation is psychological anatomical and physiologically related so psychological cognitive work social anatomical your anthropometry biomechanics physiological environmental aspect now physiological environment is the environment that you are inside and the environment psychological also and the work what kind of work is it is it, is it sedentary work is it uh, uh, an up and about work is it more laborious than more than, than the body can handle and so on so forth 
you can see the economics, the law, management. Now you can see uh, that ergonomics is not just related to specific fields. It has, again, it's a lifestyle. Because now 80% of people are working. Um, they're all working people. And uh, that's why ergonomics is now getting more hyped. It should be. Because we have to talk about ergonomics. We have to uh, intervene in ergonomics in the system. Otherwise, uh, we will get extinct. These professions will get extinct itself. The workplace uh, will get extinct in the work. Now, economics, law, management, industrial design, operation research, engineering, toxicology, environmental medicine. The first, uh, the pink ones are the, like, let's say the more individual type. The blue ones are more of a general type, more of an organization aspect. And if we look at the purple ones, artificial intelligence, manufacturing, system design, work organization. These are the more futuristic designs. Or you can say uh, those designs that need to be accountable for. We have to intervene and then see if it works and then improvise and go on. So all these aspects that you can see on your slide, they're all related to ergonomics, to workplace law. Aims of ergonomics. So you get an idea of why we're talking about ergonomics in public health, in preventive medicine, and why it is so important to have this and to have this actually awareness of ergonomics. Most of the people don't even know that there's a thing called ergonomics or that we should have ergonomics. We can talk about ergonomics, it's all right. So ensures the human needs for safe and efficient work working are met in the design of work system. If someone has issues, psychological, anatomical, sociological, physiological, then that person is has the right to say, okay, I want a, a, a job description that is fitting to my uh, state of mind, my state of body, my state of uh, structure. So this is your right to say it. it. It's nothing wrong. It's nothing that you're saying extra to design appliances, technical system, tasks in such a way to improve human safety, health, comfort, and performance. So efficiency, other aims, efficiency in purposeful activity, achieve desired results without waste, error, damage. Now these, what, what the previous slide was about the employee or the person that is working in an organization. And these are the aims that the organization will have for implementing ergonomics, efficiency and purposeful activity from the employee, achieving desired results without waste, error, damage to persons, working situation in harmony with the activities of the worker. So it's a win-win situation, like I said in the previous uh, slides. We need to be on one level. It is not a hierarchy. If you go on a hierarchy, you'll you will stay in the hierarchy and the, the, the pyramid will topple off itself. So you want to stay on top of the game, then you need to be in a teamwork rather than uh, a man's slave relationship. This is how it works. Difficulties in achieving, why? Although this is such a win-win situation, as you can see from the first slide, and it is something that if we implement, why aren't we implementing and why aren't these things why aren't these results showing? So human operators flexible and adaptive. Large individual differences, obvious differences, physical size, strength, not obvious differences, culture, style, level of skill. Thus a systematic approach and theory are necessary. There should be measurable objectives to be checked and remedial actions taken. A detailed study of the science of ergonomics provides these approaches and theories. Here, we can use the different uh, guidelines that ergonomics has given us. Research, please research in what your employees want or what the organization can get more benefit from their employees. How? Ergonomics considers human operators variability. So an automobile design has to consider 
This is an example. Range of physical size and strength of users. If uh, an audible meal does not do it, and the person says, okay, generally people are not so broad or not so skinny or not so um, uh, large for uh, their size. So let's make it a medium size. But a lot of people would not fit into it. So we have to talk about everyone, not just taking out the 10%. That's not right. Seats are comfortable, controls readily are in identifiable, identifiable, readily identifiable, and within easy reach. Clear visibility, front and rear, easily read um, internal instruments, easy ease of entry and uh, egress or enter or exit. Who is a human operator? Skilled profession using a complex machine in an artificial environment. We all come into it. Either we're using a computer, we're using um, a, a, a telephone or a specific complicated machinery or the car or some aspect of some machinery in an industrial area, whatever. Customer who has purchased new equipment, child sitting in a classroom, disabled person in a wheelchair, these are all human operators. So why hasn't ergonomics been implied in a lot of areas? Because there's a loss of variability. What happens is that we think that, oh my God, we're going to invest so much on it and uh, we're not going to see anything very quickly because these things take time, like they take five, 10 years to evolve. But once a system has evolved and people are loyal, they will stay there for like 20, 30, 40 years, and they will be more productive. They will be more experienced, trained. You will have a cavalry which, uh, where people would be loyal to the organization. They will be more lenient towards a lot of mistakes. They will be more effective because they will have experience and training. A lot of organizations lose their valued employees because they cannot uh, maintain the services or the facilitation. And that's why the person has to leave. So we have to talk about these things also. Ergonomics. Ergonomics, professional complementary roles with ergonomics. Ergonomics, physiotherapist, social psychologist. Now, ergonomics is just not related with uh, uh, one person, like I said, because it is a multidisciplinary and an interdisciplinary um, aspect, a study of uh, workplace laws. So it cannot happen with one person. You need a team of people around, a facilitation of team of people. So physiotherapist, social psychologist, architect, civil engineer, occupational health officers. Just, just imagine that you are building an organization and you're employing people. How will you maintain their efficacy, their productivity, while keeping them satisfied with the work environment, with their facilitation, with their facilities? So you, you need a big uh, organization, a merger. So these are different people. Um, internal uh, medical officer, industrial designer, mechanical engineer, safety officer, industrial nurse. Most of the people are being employed. If there's, it's a big organization. But sometimes we have mergers, like with hospitals, with uh, different... Uh, um, people um, we can have mergers with that can facilitate your employees and uh, you know satisfy. So simple ergonomic system we have, and then there's a complex ergonomic system. Ergonomics needs in a workplace. So ergonomics needs in a workplace. What are these? Physical work environment. Thermal comfort, noise and migration control, adequate and proper lighting. Just, just uh, think about if you, what different aspects would you need to have a peace of mind? Uh, somewhere where you can relax and be the most effective of your talent. Chemical environment, control of pollution, general exhaust ventilation, working physiology, 
control excessive physical load, avoid physical and muscular fatigue, adequate rest pauses, arrangement of static and dynamic work. We can give you different auspices where we can give you a case scenario in which a person has uh, been into a specific uh, um, workplace and we, you need to identify the different aspects of ergonomics. So if you know these uh, environments, these aspects that a person, if you just keep that yourself in, in, in the, the person who's working in a workplace, um, you'll understand it's common sense. You don't have to rehearse all these things. Just think if you're in a workplace environment, what kind of different aspect would you like to have? Anthropometry, if the workplace is not designed according to your size, you would not be comfortable there. Even if you're not sitting there for all the time, but you won't be comfortable. Occupational biomechanics, the appropriate work posture, safe load lifting and carrying techniques, adopt proper techniques. So it is for everyone, even those who are working all the time, who are up and about, are they given the right kind of safety measures or the right kind of um, uh, pressure controllers that they need in their life for their body? as well as their mind. Psychological aspect, avoid uh, perceptual and mental loads and fatigue, appropriate designs of displays and control, appropriate conditions for vigilance, tasks, avoid human errors and stress, job motivation and satisfaction. Very, very important. Okay? Most of the time, we have psychological aspects, 80%. That is really not uh, easy to overcome. Social psychology, practice good relationship among employees and between employer and employees. Very important. If you don't have a good peer um, review about you and the vice versa, then there is a lot of hostile environment, which no one likes. Ergonomic uh, needs in a workplace can also have macro ergonomics, like suitable working hours, intervals, holidays. A lot of people, including me, can relate to this. A lot of people taking this lecture can also relate to this. Appropriate shift schedules, welfare facilities, job rotation and incentive schemes, fair salary structure, good administrative structure, good work organization skills, fringe benefits, housing, transport, sports, labor union facilities, training, education, promotional aspects. Now, all these things, uh, according to the scenario, can be easily suited, can be easily dealt in. This is not something that I'm talking to you in a textbook form. This is something that people are actually doing, organizations, are doing these things and they are uh, enhancing and they're evolving, improvising. And that's why they, they're still at their best. We should learn from these things. Safety and ergonomics, good housekeeping, performance feedback, systems ergonomics, systems, groups and problem solving and development work, participant, participative ergonomics, user-centered uh, designs. Even for you guys as students, you are the customers, you are the employees, uh, not the employees, we are the employees. You are the customers. So what kind of aspect would you like that would enhance your efficacy, your efficiency towards this organization that you are studying in? So think about that. You'll get a lot of answers. Same answers, but in a different aspect. So after all the listing, what are the benefits of ergonomics? And I, by now, I know most of the people have, will be having at the back of my idea these are the benefits that ergonomics will have. Productivity, product quality, safety, health, reliability, job satisfaction, personal development. And not just personal development, the organization or the place that you're working in, if you had a good experience, you'll refer it to others. And it, it's a chain of progress that comes into it. So it's, it's a long-term thing. Always think about long-term things. 
long term things always give benefit short term things small benefits long term things bigger and deeper benefits than you can ever imagine so the questions employers need answers for developing new products increasing product production capacity identifying equipment and labor needs you can relate it with your own just use the different words developing uh, new ideas for you guys increasing your uh, talent how can you increase your creativity when you come into the professional life identifying different tools and different um, uh, areas which you need to improvise if the, the most important point is identifying what you need in your life to improve improve yourself so that when you step in the professional life you are uh, you know you're mastered you're tailored with a lot of things that you might not have otherwise done and there's a competition outside there so you need to compete and you need to have more talent you need to have better aspects identifying cost of manufacturing products okay your cost is your um like how are you going to pay for the different uh, um electives or the different uh, courses that you want to do or the different post graduate studies that you want to do ahead you start thinking about it right now determining working hours and shifts sh shift uh, schedules are you getting enough to study for yourself and enough to go for the clinical practice and enough to give test and enough to be here online with your mind and your body at an alert mode defining job productivity and quality standards again your productivity towards your goals and the quality standards are they uplifting or not setting compensation levels is there a leniency gap are you getting a breather in between identifying skill for task what are you good at can you identify can your organization or the system that you are uh, studying in or, or uh, identify structuring task into jobs can you identify a task a, a, a talent that you have in the profession that you're opting for and go for it because this the, these these are important questions that we all should be asking ourselves increasing the available workforce by reducing problematic tasks so can you see the aspect of ergonomics that one should be asking when joining a place whether for studying whether for uh, living whether for uh, professional aspect whatever ergonomics works everywhere traditional and present day tools and machines traditional relatively simple present day increasing complex made by user made by manufacturer small number made by tradition present day large number made so you can see the, the the competition from the traditional to the present day coming up designer error small consequences designer profound consequences product competitiveness uh, unimportant yahan pe marketing competitiveness vital hai jaise ki aap log ka aap log ki ek market hai aap usme kitna compete karte hain aapke paas kitna hai kya aap distinctive आइडियाज लेके आएंगे मतलब इन द सेंस के आपके पास ऐसी क्या चीज है जो आपको डिस्टिंग आउट करती है जो आपको प्रेफर करेंगे लोग राधर देन समल्स सो रिस्ट्रिक्टेड यूजर पॉपुलेशन कैरेक्टर ट्रेडिशन नाउ वाइड वेरिएशन इन यूजर पॉपुलेशन नाउ पीपल हैव लॉट ऑफ वेराइटी सो वट आर यू के हाउ कैन अर्गनॉमिक्स टेक्नोलॉजिकल टेक्नोलॉजी डेवलपमेंट इन इंडस्ट्री डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज adaptation of technology to of the west and this again ye aap sab pe bhi effect hota hai if you are not apt in technology right now you don't have a lot of competition so you are not in the competition i know it's hard for even for us if we are not apt in the technology we cannot reach out to you guys by improving working conditions through ergonomics interventions by developing traditional methods traditional methods are good just develop them improvise them in acquiring modern technology in modifying techniques and the best thing the most important thing after doing all these things 
train and educate the people that you will employ or you have you know, that are studying in your organization without training you will not understand if a beautiful complex piece of multi talented software uh, is given to you if you don't know how to work it if you don't know how to open the computer there's no point of keeping the best computer that can um, you find you can find so ergonomics contribution to developing industrially developing countries research on basic data that's why please research karo please 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 promote special abilities refine simple methods more appropriate experts a lot of expertise can be retained because of just keeping ergonomics in mind action learning learning by doing not imitating inspire yourself from others who have done it but do not copy them you know intervene your environment your working style and improvise it that's the best thing bet supported education research reconceptualize standard setting so some important ergonomic check post uh, hai material stock so shortage and handling just uh, clear marks and transport these are different uh, check points that uh, uh, there's a so there's a uh international labor organization ergonomics checkpoint you can check it out on the net it is free of cost it's a pdf version and there are different ergonomics uh, aspect in in detail that you can see if you are in an organization or if you're starting an organization if you're an entrepreneur go for these things you'll get the best thing possible hand tools different aspect then we have production machine safety then we have improving workstation design then we have lightning now these are very small things but they affect uh, a person premises uh, the the area where where your concern welfare facilities work organization how is this organization actually affecting you not environmental ergonomics the last objective This branch of ergonomics studies the interaction of people with their physical environment, specifically. As we have seen, anatomical, psychological, physical, social. There are lots of environment that we have been seeing in ergonomics. But here, the environmental ergonomics is basically the physical. This can be an indoor or outdoor environment, an operation or free time environment. The interaction studies studied can vary from comfort to traumatic experiences. so it depends where you're working at what is your job description what is your job uh, so areas of concern climate vibration light equilibrium orientation protection and performance clothing research healthcare ergonomics and patient safety building design so environmental ergonomics like the whole ergonomics is basically the physical aspect of the workers and these are all the physical aspects that affect one self so when people are financially invested they want a return but when people are emotionally invested they want to contribute that is my um, take home message for you guys so any questions any queries we still have time i hope you guys have understood ergonomics um i would really love if you guys can open your mics it's okay i don't mind the background music uh going in uh, people's background i don't mind but i would like if anybody wants to ask a question instead of chat sweetie uh, i would like to open your mics and whatever you guys want to ask uh regarding ergonomics uh most welcome we still have time any question beta any question that you guys are interested in it's a uh, i think it's one of the best fields and um, well anyone can make their profession in it it's something that at least is extinct in pakistan so if anybody wants to do it it's a very good field
just giving you hints. If you don't like MBBS, you can switch. Any question regarding ergonomics? Sorry. Ma'am, did you ever want to switch? Yeah. Your field? <laughs> I would love to switch here. Yeah, seriously. I'll get the chance, inshallah. When my kids are a bit older, I will. I'm really serious about ergonomics. Like it's something which we all need. Even, even for you guys, like it's not just for us who are like as employees, it's for everyone. Everyone. Sorry? A stress free environment? It is not just a stress free environment. Yes, definitely a stress free environment, but more like how to tackle that stress. So, stress is not bad. Let me remind you that. If you don't have stress, we won't be giving exams. We won't be, because in exams, we work, our minds work more. Positive stress should be there. The stress should not go into the negative aspect. That's the main aspect of ergonomics. We cannot take out stress. If someone is stressful, you say, oh, don't take stress. That's like the most idiotic, sorry, advice anyone can give because you, you don't have, um, like your emotions are not in your control. What you can do is try to improvise your talent in controlling um, or let's say channeling those emotions. <laughs> I'm doing that. Um, I really want to do this uh, by improving ergonomics in the lab. I've been doing this for two years. Uh, hopefully, it will happen one day. We'll have chairs with backs and people can sit properly and they can, you know, doze off in my class. I don't mind. But at least they will have some nice chairs to sit on. Any questions? Uh, inshallah, inshallah. I, I think, uh, you know, um, we should not restrict ourselves just to medicine. Uh, if you are a doctor, you can be more other fields. Like, it's, it's, uh, it's not something very difficult. Um, inshallah, we will. You guys can do it also. And even if you don't, just be aware of your rights. Like as a person who is working in an organization, who's studying in an organization, what are your rights as well as your duties? Both. And we will spot fields are there where we work in ergonomics. Uh, every field, Vita, every field. Ergonomics basically is workplace environment. So any workplace, it can be your um, uh, you know, private consultation hospital or a private consultation room. Any place uh, which is a workplace, a profession, it can be nowadays because of the COVID, it can be your room, your uh, uh, room in your house, uh, in your home, where you're uh, uh, giving clinical aspects or you're giving clinical consultancy um, through the web. That can also be a workplace. That can be your workplace as an entrepreneur or whatever. Every field, every aspect of your field, like I said, it's a lifestyle. It is not just law. It's a lifestyle of living a professional life and balancing your professional personal life with it. And we all need it. 